have to just curate your life of softness and luxury by basking in the things that you love. This is a shower gel. It smells like a good smelling man, girl. But y'all take a look at these. How elevated and cute is this? This Chanel, like your skin just looks flawless. The sleeves are so long on this cardigan, y'all. Everywhere that I go, everywhere that I be, my insecurity. I'm getting the last of these summer looks in. I got way too much room in here. Man's joggers. I like these. Zara is coming, ladies. I got two of the brightening soap bars. Let me explain something to y'all. It don't, it don't work like that. If people are feeling the same way or going through the same things. So many people relate to you when you're real as far as life, people, personalities, friendships. I learned a lot of things. I remember when we were staring photo. Don't forget the way you look me in the eyes. And I keep you in my heart. And my heart is where you are. I still think of you. Hello ladies, welcome to another vlog. I'm Stephanie if you're new, welcome. My channel does focus on fashion, beauty, affordable luxury, self-care, and overall lifestyle. So if that's something you think you might be interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. For those of you returning, hey girls, welcome back. I appreciate you guys. As y'all can see, I just left the nail salon. I'm playing with a few colors for fall. This is like a bronze color that has a hint of green. I just got it on my tips. I was just playing with some colors on my tips because I think I'm gonna do a lot of tips this season. Um, just if I want to play with color, I'll start with tips first. <laughs> but usually around the holidays, I always do red. Anyway, I'm headed to Target and I'm just gonna bring you guys with me. I may record on my phone because my battery about to die, girl. I know, I know. Starting to vlog out with a dead camera child. So I'm looking for something I can use to take pictures in. I might put like jewelry or perfume or something like that in the bowl because I just want the picture. So I was looking for something like this because I just want the background. This is cute too. Not for no $25 Target, y'all tripping. But this face is pretty too. I'm definitely gonna get this. Hey, Booskies. Y'all, I'm back from out in these streets. I went to Marshall's and I went in Target. My battery died, so I couldn't show y'all nothing in the store. But I'm just gonna show y'all a quick little Target Marshall's haul. Target, I didn't get much. Um, I did get an outfit for date night and I'll show y'all. But let's get into this Marshalls girl. Y'all hear ocean waves in the background. I got YouTube on. I was getting ready to go to bed. I said, no, let me get my butt up and share this stuff. I shared it on my stories on Instagram. I was looking at my girl Pretty Breeze story on Instagram and she said that she picked up the Sand and Fall body washes. I said, body washes? Wait a minute. Girl, I turned that car around so fast in that parking lot. London was like, Mom, I thought we was going to Target. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. We going to Marshall. So I went and I got body washes, but they also had some hand soaps. So we're going to test all of this stuff out. Well, we're going to smell it. So I picked up the Sand and Fog. This is the California Beach House. 
This is a shower gel. So let's see what it smells like. Y'all know what it smells like. This smell, let me show y'all what it smells like. It smells just like Santal Bloom, the Saltaire from Target. Y'all know this is, I think this is like what, $12? And this was $6.99 from Marshalls. And you're getting a bigger size. It smells just like this. Let me just smell. Because I know. Yep. Identical. Dang, did they pour this in the bottle? It smells just like it. What is in this? Now this is probably like a little lighter. But this is a little stronger. Yeah. It almost smells identical. This is just, like I said, a more potent scent. Okay, so let's see. This is the Clean Waves. I said this looks like it probably smells masculine, so I might give it to my boys. Let's see. Oh, yes, honey. And this smells like a Target fragrance, too. This smells like the one that, oh my gosh, what's that fragrance called? If this color bottle, yep, it smells just like it. So you get these large bottles for $6.99 versus these, which are like what, like I said, maybe $12, $13, This is the vanilla coconut. The coconut is more prominent in this one, but I love the smell. This one is the peony and white lily. Okay, the peony is, <laughs> it's a stronger scent here, clearly. I like it though. If you're not a floral girl, don't get this. Y'all, I can't wait to see what it's like, like if it lathers well. I'm gonna test that too in a second. Um. Okay, so this is the teak wood and I feel like this will be for my boys too. And my husband. Oh yeah, honey. In true teak wood fashion. <laughs> it's very pronounced. I really like this one. It smells like a good smelling man, girl. A good smelling man. It kind of puts me in the mind of the um, Amber Crombie and Fitch fragrance. For men. Yep. It smells a lot like that, or one that you would get from Bath and Body Works. But do y'all see the size of this bottle? And this was only $6.99. They're all $6.99. This is nice. All right, so I also got the hand soaps. So I picked up the Ocean Mist. Let's see. Mmm. This has a sweet smell to it. Very tropical. I really like this one. It reminds me of a nice tropical vacation. This is nice. I like that one. The kids can't have that one. All right, so I also got that teak wood. And again, I already know what this smells like. Same scent, just in the hand soap. And I got the French lavender. Oh, oh. Girl. Listen to me. Okay, first of all, I'm a huge fan of lavender. But this one, I don't know. This this right here different. This ain't your typical lavender, like that soft, fresh scent. It's not giving that. This is like luxurious. If you can go in Marshalls, I don't, I don't know how to explain this scent. If you can go in Marshalls, please smell this. Y'all got to smell this and come back to the comment section and let me know what y'all think. This one right here hit different. It's made with aloe. Y'all, I gotta smell it again. Ooh, girl. I could just sit here and smell this one all day. This is my favorite. It smells luxe. It smells like a luxurious hotel hand soap or body wash. It does not smell like lavender at all, y'all. But I smell this scent like a Byredo or something like that. I smelled this before. It's a fresh, clean scent. Very pronounced, though. Like, literally, you smell it as soon as you open the bottle. 
So now we're moving into the golden nutmeg. And I actually got two of those because I like this scent around the holidays. I got it for Thanksgiving and for Christmas. As much as we wash our hands around here, it's ridiculous. So, um, and remember guys, we're a family of six. So I got two to last us for both holidays. One for Thanksgiving, one for Christmas. I'll probably do this one for Christmas when it's really cold because I like the aesthetic and the color of the bottle. And I'll do this one for Thanksgiving. But it smells like gingerbread. I already smelled it. It smells like a gingerbread cookie. And then I got the crisp white. And this one, this one smells like a fresh load of laundry. Yep. It smells like fresh laundry detergent. Just a clean, fresh scent. Um, let's lather it up, shall we? All right, I'm just gonna do one, guys, just to see how it performs, because I'll do one body and then one hand soap, just to see how it performs, if it lathers well. Let's see. Okay, you guys seeing it? Let me turn this off. Where my water bill up, child. Y'all see that? And of course, it's gel. Let me just wash this off my hands. So now we're gonna do the hand soaps, and let's see how well they perform. Now let's do the crisp white. Okay. It's like a gel as well. $6.99, girl. Even after drying my hands, I still smell it. The hand soaps are $5.99 and the shower gels are $6.99. That's the difference in size. I did not mean to go in there and get all of this stuff, but <laughs> anytime I see sand and fog, I be like, yes, 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 and yes, okay? Um, I wanted to tell you guys about the Dr. Till's candles. I actually edited the thing and everything in my last video, and I don't know how it got edited out. I don't know. But let me share with y'all that, and then I'll show y'all what I got from Target. So this was the Dr. Till's candle that I picked up. This one is the lavender and chamomile and sandalwood. I like this one better because I like lavender. Um, London has the other one. It was like cardamom and I think it was sage and something else. Anyway, just to give you guys an update. So I burn this just a little at bath time. These don't project well in larger rooms, like in my bedroom or in my living area, living space area, my kitchen. I wouldn't like that there. They are aromatherapy candles. It does project well in the bathroom when the door is closed. I think that's what it's for. I do just kind of light it at bath time or when I'm taking a shower, I light it. Now, I don't like these as often because I like to light my other candles. And these are really London's. I just borrowed it <laughs> twice. But um, as far as the projection, it does not project well in larger spaces. You have to be in a closed space to get the full effect of the candle. That's just what I have noticed when burning this candle. Um, London, she doesn't really care for this one because she doesn't really care for lavender, but I do, so I might be a little biased in my opinion about the lavender one smelling the best. In her opinion, the other one smells better, which was, like I said, I think it's the cedarwood, cedarwood, sage, and something else, cardamom maybe. London has it right now. She's burning it in the shower, so I can't even show it to y'all, but yeah. Just want to give y'all an update on that. Cause one of you guys did ask, um, did I like the candle? All right, so y'all, this, um, these earrings that I wear all the time, Target has some dupes. Now the quality ain't hitting like this, but it's not bad. And the Target ones are lighter. I'll link them for y'all, but y'all take a look at these. And then I'll pop up a little picture here or a video to show y'all what the Target ones look like. 
and I will leave the link in my LTK for you guys if you're interested but a lot of y'all always ask me about these earrings that they've been sold out for years but the Target version is just as nice I could not pass up on these because they're so chic and I love the size and they were only three dollars with tax I think like three nineteen and it is by threshold I'll link it for y'all so I got all three the last three they had I wanted at least four but it's okay because me and London are the only ones who really care about this kind of stuff anyway the boys and my husband they don't care about these <laughs> girl they'll drink out of a red plastic cup they don't care but we like the fancy cute stuff so it's really for me and her anyway and I also got I also got some more room spray. The salt scent. It just smells so luxe in here when I spray this. I really like this scent. Now my favorite scent was actually metal and they discontinued it. I don't know why. That scent is the best scent. I don't know why they discontinued that. But y'all let me tell you what I do. Here's the candle. Y'all see I burned the crap out of these candles. These candles project so well in your home. I kid you not, my home smells like luxury. When people walk in here, when I have this burning, they always are like, what is this scent in your house? Like, it smells phenomenal, amazing. <clears throat> this, this scent in particular. Um, the other ones are okay. Like, salt is probably my next favorite, but this is my favorite, and they discontinued it. So what I do is, I go straight to eBay, girl. People be selling these candles. I'll go straight to eBay and get me a candle. I've already got some candles on the way, so that's why I'm telling y'all. The other thing I did get was the, um, the tray. Now, I may put it somewhere on a shelf or something. I don't know. But the main reason I got it was to take pictures. I want to elevate my pictures. Now, there's nothing wrong with the aesthetic of my home. Like, I love my countertops. I love my backsplash. I love all of that stuff. It's fine. But sometimes I want to go for this type of aesthetic. And that's not what my home is giving. My home is a little more modern. This is giving more like bohemian almost. I plan to take pictures of items in here. And post it on my feed. So say I want to do. Let me see. I don't know. Say I want to show some earrings or something. Like you see how it just pops and it looks so clean against this. Right now I have to get a couple of things probably to put in there to dress it up real cute. But this is what I want to do when I start taking pictures of some of my things. So all you'll see is the background of the tray. Like you see how clean that looks? If I work with a brand and they send over products or what have you, I can take pictures of it and put it in this. Well, I said I wanted to invest in my brand. So little stuff like that makes a huge difference. You'd be surprised. It makes a huge difference in your content. If you are a content creator or if you just like taking pictures and you just want your pictures to look more elevated. Like I said, I just need a few little things that to put in there to kind of dress it up. Okay, y'all. I'm going to show y'all the dress for date night. Um, Not tonight. I don't feel like putting it on tonight. <laughs> But I also got this little mock neck top. It's knitted. It's by a New Day. It's in a size medium. I'm going to put this on and show y'all just how sleek and elevated this top looks. So, I love the mock neck. Look how sleek that is. Just so elevated for fall. And if I want to just add my hoops. A little bit of lipstick on do your makeup girl how they gonna know this target who gonna tell them girl let me show you where it lands on me this is where it lands on me it's so lightweight that's what I love about it how light it is girl I was sold how elevated and cute is this? With some blue jeans and my mom trainers. So, 
the dress I got was the Future Collective piece. And I'm actually gonna wear this to dinner. Um, this is the last summer piece that I'm purchasing. It has the really thin spaghetti straps. Got it in the medium and it fits like a glove. But you guys will see this on. It's really pretty. But yes, girl, it has the ruching. It stretches really nice. So we're gonna wear that to date night. I'm gonna go get dressed for bed, call it a night. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, all right. Today is content creating day. I decided I'm gonna start adding more content creation within my vlogs with you guys, just to show you guys my thought process. And plus you guys will get to see the growth, okay? So we're gonna go uptown and take some pictures and I'm gonna show y'all what I'm wearing. I picked up this cardigan from Commence months ago. I wanted that piece in my collection. Okay, so this is going to be a denim on denim look. These are my favorite jeans. These are my mom jeans. I did not want to do these because the color is too off. It kind of throws it off a little bit. I think I need to go a little lighter in my wash. I also love these and both jeans are from Amber Crombie. I like the wash better with these. For a top, I'm going to keep it real simple. And we're gonna do this little bodysuit from Target by New Day. Necklace. Now this one I got from Nordstrom back in 2019. It's pretty heavy too. I love this necklace, y'all. So the look is gonna be clean up top, but you still have a little extra around the neck. But it's still not gonna take away from the cardigan. The ring is Zara, it's a shield ring. I'm gonna wear Bottega Veneta dupes. I would definitely purchase the real pair because I pulled for these so much and I didn't realize I would. They have like a pink tint to them. They are so pretty. This is like my little style hack when I want a clean, chic, sleek, modern look. These will go with pretty much anything because the base of the shoe is brown. Anytime you use or get a brown shoe, it's gonna always keep your look sleek. Now, I definitely would do color with this, but we're going for a more modern, sleek approach. So I'm gonna keep it very simple and nudish on the bottom. Plus, I like how the chain just complements the distressing. You see that? You also can do a chartreuse colored bag with this. That would be really, really pretty. I mean, it'll make it pop. Or you can do like chartreuse color strappy heels. Um, I'm more of a nude girl when it comes to the shoes with this type of fabric. Because like I told y'all, I like to keep it basic and simple. That's just my personal style, but you certainly can do that type of color as your um, pop of color in your shoes. I would definitely do that in a bag, but I wouldn't typically do it in a shoe, but you can, and it would be fire. I just put a very light face on. When I say this is my favorite foundation, this Chanel, this always hit. Like your skin just looks flawless. I love it. I'm almost, girl, I got like this much left. I need to get some more. Um, I just did a new lip and where's my necklace? Oh, so I'm gonna add my choker. Y'all see how the stud and the choker just complement each other? with all this fabric, honey. Um, and then I really don't need a bracelet. I can, but I really don't because the sleeves are so long on this cardigan, y'all. I really don't need one. The sunnies. Fire. 
Y'all, these are good. If you didn't get them, girl, I'm telling you, they fire. Here's the Brandon Blackwood bag. It's just real sleek and it complements the look. So, a real baddie, okay? Cardigan is everything. Oh, I just wouldn't do too much with it. You can wear shorts with this. You can do a skirt with this. You can belt it, cause it's so big. Like you can belt it and wear it dress style. Girl, if I can find this cardigan somewhere else, I'll link it for y'all. All right, girls, let's go. I feel like I'm gonna fall. I should have grabbed some flats just to walk. And then um, I left my little travel bag at home. So normally, oops. normally I'll have like a little travel bag, y'all. So I can put my stuff in it. But I left it home brushing out the door. So I'm carrying everything. Okay, I think I'm gonna take pictures like right here against this wall. I'm gonna do that. Everywhere that I go, everywhere that I be, if you were not surrounding me with your energy, I don't wanna be there, don't wanna be anywhere, any place that I can feel you. I just wanna be near you. And it's on the mess, but I'm blessed to be stuck with you. Sometimes it gets unhealthy. We can't be by ourselves, we will always need each other Yes, I'm a mess, but I'm blessed to be stuck with you I just want you to know that If I could, I swear I'd go back Make everything go better, whoa. Ooh, whoa, ooh, whoa. Oh, see, we Those we will always It's the things that you say It's the way that you pray This is a nice little spot to come walk at, guys, if you're in the area. It's right next to Flower Chow. It's right next to Flower Chow. Especially early morning. I'm sitting here waiting on the train to come by so I can get a good picture, like with the movement in the background. That's what I want. So I decided to take my picture here because I like just how raw this looks. It's definitely giving street, edgy. So yeah, I decided when the train comes back through, I'm gonna take a picture like this, but I'm gonna do it with my camera so y'all won't see it um, until I pop it up here on the side, if it turns out good. <laughs> so that's my plan. We're just sitting here waiting. And after this, I need to get home. But that is pretty much how my pictures go. Um, I just kinda walk around randomly scout out locations and get ideas depending on what I have on you know, my mood my hair my hair is usually the same but hair and makeup so I'm giving soft edgy so I like just the raw scenery and it's really organic so yeah once it comes through we'll take pictures and then I'll talk to y'all later I feel like a donut
I actually need to go to the mall. I want to go check Abercrombie and Fitch to see if they have these. Um, it's so I want to see their barrel jeans, and I also want to see like their 90s. I think it's baggy fit, high rise baggy fit jeans. I want it in that like off black that almost looks vintage. So I just threw on this little top from Zara. It's like a bodysuit. Is this from Zara? Yeah. It's a bodysuit. Girl, I'm getting the last of these summer looks in. And I'm wearing the barrel jeans from Free People. Y'all, I love these. I need more. They're so cute. And I'm wearing my miniature Brandon Blackwood little bag here. This is a stainless steel gold bag. And I'm just doing my large gold hoops. And then the bracelet is Zara. It's like a fish bracelet. So cute. So that's the look for today. And what is the scent? Oh, and I'm wearing my Target around dupes. I feel like Joe Malone with sage and sea salt. Don't want to ruin my bag, girl. All right, let's go. Too much room in here, but it's flat in my butt. <laughs> it's squeezing it. These are regular size 14. Again, still that problem, but I don't know if I like these. <laughs> These are the barrel style jeans. These are a 31 wide. These are the standard cloth joggers, men's joggers. I like these. Go on my new balance trainer. This is a medium. I might have to do a small. I couldn't even get these up my thigh, girl. These are 32, 32. So I'm about to see if I can get a bigger size. This small is better. Yeah. Like these are 32. Zara is coming, ladies, hang tight. And it's gonna be over by Bilk. I cannot wait.
hello ladies it's a new day i'm headed to a coffee shop it's actually several days later i stopped in and had a whole ivy drip girl i was just feeling really fatigued and i didn't know if i was just you know dehydrated because i wasn't getting in the water intake that i normally do especially with my work schedule it's hard and if you know anything about healthcare and just being a nurse in general a lot of times you're not able to take bathroom breaks so sometimes i don't drink as much because i know i'll go to the bathroom and that's not good either i just need to find a balance but just threw a ball cap on my old faithful that's why it's so good when you're a pixie to have a cute ball cap girl it'll save your whole outfit your day your life all the things and i'm wearing this cute top y'all this top is from zara i wanted to give y'all a cute little zara haul but lately with zara i just shop pieces here and there in between uh, by the time i show y'all this stuff in a haul it's gone so i told y'all that i was going to show you in the vlog so this should be available hopefully um this is a crop top but i'm wearing it like a jacket I got it a little more oversized. This is an extra large. It's just so dope, y'all. Oh, y'all know I love chocolate. Chocolate brown is my favorite color. This paired with a burgundy. Burgundy is the color of the season. You guys know that. O-M-G. The little t-shirt is Target Girl. And the track pants are old Zara. They're these chocolate track pants with the white stripe now i'm gonna take you guys with me to the coffee shop so you'll see the whole outfit because i plan to take pictures the shoes are also zara i was just saying how looks they look they look like a ysl piece they're so pretty elegant this is a sexy shoe and it's true to size i got my true size um and my feet are narrow and the bag of the day is probably just going to be my Gucci bag. Um, let me just put my stuff in here. The coffee shop is called Night Swim. I took y'all here before. Uh, if you're new to this channel, I love coffee shops. I love to coffee shop hop. And Night Swim was just one that I really like. They have several locations here. But the one uptown is located inside of a building. I think it's like a... Um, it may be a um a hotel i'm not i can't remember i'm not sure but i really love their coffee i love their aesthetic it's just so pretty so that's where we're going i'm picking myself up from the slump i was in just not feeling good just fatigued and i'm doing the things i love you have to just curate your life of softness and luxury by basking in the things that you love so that's what i'm doing i love coffee shops even if i don't have coffee i may have hot tea i may have a bottle of water i just like to go i love the aesthetic and i also can get some work done in there if i need to so we're gonna do that so guys look what came today this is my mirror from walmart girl it's going in my beauty room. I'm excited. I am taking steps towards going ahead and just getting this done, girl. I just need to complete it. It's so nice out here today. get lost over here you can tell people who don't come out the house child huh? okay let me figure out where i'm going i will talk to y'all in a minute if i wrote you a symphony just to say how much you mean to me if I told you you were beautiful Would you date me on the regular? Tell me, would you? Well, baby, I've been around the world But I ain't seen
see myself another girl like you. This ring here represents my heart. But there's just one thing I need from you. Say I do. I am up a little early this morning because I'm about to make some tea and I have a hair appointment and then um, we're gonna be taking a trip to Atlanta and plus I wanted to just go maybe have brunch or something I don't know but I put a post up on my community tab asking y'all like, what are some good places to try? Where's my, um, what are some good places to try to eat at in Atlanta for um, brunch? And so many of you guys reached out to me via Instagram, as well as um, a few of you guys commented on the community post. So thank y'all for that. I appreciate that so much. I'm eventually going to try all of them, <laughs> but I think when we go on this trip, we're going to try to do um, breakfast at Barney's. My husband was looking at that one, and I think that one would probably suit us best. Um, I feel like under my eyes are a little puffy. Let me get my patches. I did pick up a few new eye mask that I want to try I see everybody with these so I was like does it really work it's the faded topicals eye mask I'm gonna try that and I also I got two of the brightening soap bars that they have this is supposed to brighten cleanse and even your skin tone it says it cleanses moisturizes and brightens with shea butter niacinamide and vitamin C so it doesn't strip the skin is what it says. So we'll see. Now we are still gonna make that turmeric mask that we talked about in the last vlog. I just need to go to the farmer's market cause I want all fresh ingredients and I haven't had a chance to go yet. But I'm gonna take y'all with me and we're gonna do that in a different vlog. I can't do that in this one. I got too much going on. Girl, put my little NARS lip mask on. I'm gonna try these. These right here are my good old faithfuls. These are from Amazon. These are the Breely eye patches. They are aloe vera. For a spa-like experience, if you want your face to smell like a spa, this right here, girl. A few of you guys told me you got it and it's bomb. And it fades all your dark areas. It takes away like the raccoon eyes, is, you know, what we call it. All right, let's try these faded topical eye patches. And thank y'all for all the love in the comments in the last video. Just encouraging me not to be hard on myself. But guys, let me explain something to y'all. I am a perfectionist. And I'm also a procrastinator. That's a lethal combination. You can't be both. You gotta be one or the other. So I gotta figure out a better way honey because it don't it don't work like that so i think though me just sharing like how i feel it's also refreshing to see that other people are feeling the same way are going through the same things and you guys will definitely get to see the come up okay because one thing about me i don't stay down i like to feel my emotions i like to go through it and then i'm gonna get through it okay and you guys will see that but i like to share how i'm feeling because so many people relate to you when you're real and you're just being honest life ain't peaches and cream and smiles all the time it's just not you want to go through i'm young it's so much more to life that i have to learn it's so much that i have already learned i learned a lot at a very young age because i had to grow up fast it wasn't a choice for me. I had to. I had a, a whole child to take care of. And 
I had to grow up quick. And I was in a household with strict parents. They didn't play that, girl. I had to grow up fast. My mom was like, nope. You want to go out here and do this? You can go in this office and talk to such and such by yourself. You take that baby to the doctor. You do what you have to do. You go see about that baby. That baby's sick. The baby got colic. Uh-oh, you better get up. Girl, I had to grow up. I learned a lot as far as life, people, personalities, friendships. I learned a lot of things. And I also, throughout that experience, got to learn who I am like who I'm growing to be. I've always been really hard on myself and pushing myself because the odds have always been against me. Y'all have to understand, I had a child at a young age. I'm African American. I'm a black woman. Okay, let, let's just be very clear. I'm a black woman and I live and grew up near the projects. So it was just so many odds against me. Like, you gotta fight through that. You gotta constantly prove not to people, but to yourself. I can do so much more than this. So I have been on government assistance. I bust my butt myself and got myself out of that situation. I started out as a CNA. I became a registered nurse and ended up getting a second degree. I graduated top of my class. Bust my butt, y'all. So. I am just naturally hard on myself. I'm not so much hard, but just constantly pushing myself. And that's that's just the fire in me. It's not gonna stop. But I do need to chill a little bit on just how far I've come and give myself a little more credit. Cause I'm looking at myself sometimes like, girl, you did that. Or, oh my gosh, look at you. Look at you. And on top of all of this, I feel a shift happening. I feel a transition in my life. And everywhere I look, everybody is saying the same thing. And I'm like, okay, God, I'm, I'm a little frustrated because I see that everybody around me is experiencing the same thing. You showing me this. I would randomly see memes. I would just randomly hear podcasts talking about what I'm feeling. But you're not showing me how to overcome it. You're not showing me the end result you're not showing me their triumph you're just showing me they're going through the process and then he's like that's the point you need to learn to live in the moment you need to go through the process this is your journey there's so much you need to grasp and learn throughout this journey throughout this process i don't want you to miss anything because it's vital it's crucial it's important for you to grasp what it is I need you to grasp so you can give it to the next person. It's always about reaching back and giving it to the next person. So I don't want you to fumble this. You don't need to see the triumph at the end. All you need to do is know that it's gonna be there. You gotta have faith. You gotta have hope. They coexist. So I'm learning. I am learning. And I just thank God for growth. Because the old me would be so frustrated, like, what is happening? I don't understand. I'm so frustrated. I just can't do this. I give up. And every time I try to give up, y'all, he throw the towel right back at me. Nope. Get back in the game. I would literally be on the verge of quitting. Quitting so many things. Like, for example, I'll be on the verge of quitting YouTube. And an opportunity will come. Like, out of the blue. The very next day. The very next day, y'all. And this has happened at least five times. I'm like, what is this? It's clearly him telling me to keep going. It's clearly him telling me to keep going. I know this. It's just sometimes because we're human, we want to know the end result. We want that instant gratification. And I'm the type of person, too. I have always lived in fire or flight. I lived in that. Like, my nervous system is so sick of me. <laughs> It's so sick of me at this point and I need to learn to relax and trust the process So God has been showing me that Every time I want to stop he's like nope. I got something for you every time and you know what else when you are Getting close to a breakthrough or when God is shifting Something in your life Here comes the end and he tries to attack you through people, 
through images, through dreams. I'm, I am a firm believer in that because I've seen it all my life. Every single time when I see I'm elevating something or something happens or someone comes for something to try to knock me off track or take away my focus. I'm too alert to not know where this attack is coming from. I'm too wise to not know. So, I'm just sitting back like, really? Just what we doing? But at the same time, I'm smiling on the inside because I know it's the enemy. I know he's trying to defeat me. I know he's trying to knock me off my throne. And I keep telling y'all, we all know the battle is already won. It's already ours. We just got to go through it. And yes, we get weary. Yes, we get tired. That is normal. That's a normal reaction to life. Thank y'all for the uplifting, encouraging words because a lot of times I put this out there not just for me. I want other people to see y'all's words. I want other people to read what you guys are saying because other people may need that. I know what I'm dealing with. I know who I'm dealing with and I know whose I am. So at the end of the day, I'm gonna always be good. Plus, I got a strong praying mama, honey. She come from a legacy of strong praying women. My grandma too. My mommy, my mommy is always in these comment sections reading y'all stuff too. <laughs> hey mom. <laughs> but yeah. Alright, y'all. Let me put these dishes up, girl. Cause I don't talk y'all ear off. The kids are still asleep. I have a hair appointment in a little bit. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. Because I'm gonna go ahead and start my Atlanta vlog. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye girls.